<clears throat> okay, let's see if this works. This is working. Let's refresh. Make sure that everything's working well. All right, all right, all right. This is good. This is good. We're starting with a little bit of an introduction. How's everyone doing today? <clears throat> Make sure to get those timestamps for everybody else that will be watching later. So I'm really excited about today's um, stream, everyone, because we have a couple of packages to unbox. Uh, we have the devices that came from the UK, so there's a lot of, a lot of good stuff out here. Also, we have, uh, right now I'm getting some chargers and stuff uh, with this logo right here, if you know what that logo is. Uh, of course, the zoom is not working very well, but you can definitely distinguish what the logo is. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, before that, let me uh, make sure to post this link on the Discord and also on uh, the Reddit. So we are live. Yes. Blackberries and Nokias today. And of course, everything else. Um, yeah, I'm super excited about this. Um, it's super uh great that we get to see some of these devices around um so yeah that's that's super awesome um so we're gonna go over nokia's we're gonna go over blackberries and of course if you have any questions about those devices make sure to put them um out there now uh, right now i'm just setting up and getting everything ready uh let's go to the dumb phone sub ready and Blackberries still work. All right, we're going to be testing some phones right now, getting to know some custom user interfaces uh, and a couple of everything else. So, yep, um, let me get to it. So today we have a special, I ordered a device that I'm excited to see how it fares. Uh, this is the um, this is the BlackBerry Classic, um, as you see right there. It's an excellent device, and I'm going to be testing whether it still works. Uh, now in 2022, a lot of things have changed. A lot of things have uh, become, you know, difficult for a lot of the dumb phones since uh, 3G shut down. And it's uh, around shutting down everywhere, so it's going to be interesting to see if this still works. Uh, if you have any questions, again, everybody just put it in the in the comments, and I'll be we'll be getting to it. Um, Abraham, uh, hey, nice to see you. Um, excited to have you here. I'm going through the setup of the BlackBerry right now, so let's see how that fares. Uh, if you guys can can check it out there. Um, these devices don't have any smart apps anymore, so it's kind of like useless, right? Uh, when it comes to being a smartphone, but it still has the ability to have Wi-Fi. It still has the ability to, you know, have a couple of things. Uh, let me start this um, part right now on the so three minutes thirty. Do Blackberries still work in the U.S.? Yeah, that's uh question that I've seen around floating around so make sure to to get it there um, finally got this package from the UK as well so we'll be going over that uh, let me sign into the Wi-Fi it's a little finicky right now oh man it's so satisfying to um, you know to just use the keyboard it's like it's so nice uh, so we'll be testing a little bit of that today. I don't know if this needs a little. Nope, it's fine. So it's acquiring the IP address right there. We're going to wait for it to work and everything in there. So again, anyone, uh, if you have any questions or anything, make sure to put it down there uh, and I'll be getting to it. So right now we're setting up the, it didn't set up. Um, we're trying to set up the. Oh, it is connected. Okay, so previous. We're going to skip that. Is there a way to connect it? Okay. I'm trying to see that doesn't give me like a next. 
um yeah it doesn't give me like a okay so i'm connected oh there it is connecting to wi-fi okay so it's connecting to wi-fi oh connect to wait, what okay oh maybe that was asking a specific manual setup yeah save network right there connecting to network hopefully that will give me a next and then we can continue setting it up otherwise we may need a sim card to make it work okay i'm connected I'm still not you know uh yeah i can put it uh, I, I see a couple questions coming in already but it says you currently do not have any connectivity uh okay well let me try to set it up with the light phones hotspot maybe that will work um, I also have very low battery, so we're going to need a cable as well in just a second. This is a micro USB, so it's a little bit older. Um, see right there, it should say next. But it says I don't have connection, so um, I'll pull out the, the Titan Pocket for references. I think somebody's asking there, so I'll, I'll be doing that. I'm unboxing the other things that we'll be looking at today. A lot of exciting devices from the UK. A lot of good options in the UK, apparently. Massive box for the Doro. Then we have the Cat uh, B40. And of course, Nokia with the smallest package. A Nokia Express Music 5310. So we'll be, we'll be taking a look at these in just a second. Um, let me figure this out. So I'm trying to set up whether Blackberry still work here in the States. Let's. We're figuring it out together. All right. Uh, there it is. Light phone 2. Okay, let's see if it connects to that one. Let me put the password in. Connect. And if not, I'll just take my SIM card out. This is a Verizon version, so I'll be taking SIM cards out of devices to see if we can make it work. Um... Cad B40 will be unboxing as well. So right there, that's the Nokia Express music. I'll be showcasing it in just a second. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, let me start taking off these, um, some of these things out here. The SIM cards, connection failed. Okay. Okay, I'm putting the right, mm, you need data connection to continue. Okay, two, three. Okay, let's see. Put it here so the glare doesn't hit it as much. I know it's a little bit of like. Uh... Oh, there it is. Okay, so I believe it's still connected. You currently do not have any connectivity. Even if, yeah, no, it's not not being very nice um so i'm gonna take a sim card out see if that makes it happier all right so i'm going to figure it out apparently not even doing it via hotspot um allows it so let's try some things sim card right here by the way i always love these like these devices i think they're they're great BlackBerry uh, QWERTY devices. Uh, we have a new one coming up soon. The, um, the device is here. Let me uh, connect this to the, all right. I'm just connecting it to some to uh, some char charging so it doesn't <laughs> die on us. Um, it's trying to connect to a mobile network, so we're gonna leave it there. Meanwhile, we unbox a couple of other devices. Um, we're still keeping that same area, still as, as we're we're still trying to figure it out whether it works. So this is the Doro seventy thirty. I'll be making reviews of all of these, of course. Like you know, just be a little patient. Give me a two weeks to get through all of these but I'm really excited uh, to showcase some of the compatibility even if it works here in the US so this one has 
two apps by default. So it has uh, Facebook and WhatsApp. Of course, you can also remove them. So it's not necessary for you to use them if you don't want to use them. But, you know, there's a couple of things that you can do there, at least for some compatibility, for compatibility's sake. So that's important. Um, yes, it did allow me to connect to Google Five. Okay. Oh, my camera disconnected, apparently. Apologies for that. Okay. Uh, give me a second. Okay. Sorry guys, I don't know what's going on with my camera. Um, gotta turn it off and turn it back on, see if it works. Oh, I think it, my camera crashed. My camera may have crashed. So we may have some issues here. Took out the battery. I think that should reset it or something. Okay. Let's see if that works. Okay, let's bring it back up. Ah, there it is. Now I see the, the button. Yeah, it crashed. Something happened. We're back. So. Doro 7030, let's start with that unboxing. Um, it's a Android based device, as far as I can tell uh, from the specs and everything happening in there. Um, this is still trying to connect, the Blackberry is still trying to connect to a network. I think it recognizes network not available. Okay, let's set global mode. Maybe it's also because it's a Verizon version and it needs a Verizon SIM card. So I'll take it out from my light phone and see what happens if that still activates it. It's a great piece of technology in my opinion. Okay, now that we got in it, let's get to the Doro. Come on. There you go. Okay, and there is a, has to be some sort of, take it out from here. Oh, there's another secure on the other side. Okay, take that out. And let's see what happens now that I uh, don't wanna damage the box too much. Okay, there it is, now it's pulling out. So Doro is a Swedish company apparently. Uh, that's definitely terrible for the focus. But there it is. So Doro 7030. Have it right there. Comes in the box. Uh, says your device is preparing to connect to the mobile network. In the meantime, you can connect to a Wi-Fi network. Okay. We're going to wait until it connects to a mobile network. Maybe that works out a little bit better. Okay. So we have the box. Here is the device. It's nicely packaged. Very secure. Seems very environmentally friendly. Paper instead of plastic, so that's nice. Um, bonus points for Doral. Um, so we'll get into that. Of course, we get our UK charger, which I don't need here in the States. And we get a dock, also wrapped in paper. We also have a dock, so you can Put it in there, put the device in the dock. Um, so the BlackBerry Classic, at the very least, is recognizing that it is a, uh, it's Google Fi. So the very least is recognizing that. So let me put the battery on the Doro, see if we have um, any compatibility. As you see right here, we have SIM card one, SIM card two, and an SD card. Very nice. Uh, both nano SIMs. Uh, I doubt anything would definitely work or be compatible uh, with everything in the United States. So but I'll be testing and getting more testing. Let's just get a sample SIM card right here. It's a lot of uh, packaging in my table right now. 
I'm going to put it on SIM 1 and see what happens. This is an AT&T SIM card, so we'll be testing that. AT&T MVNL, that is. As we know, AT&T does not like um, foreign phones. So here we have the Doro. Um, it's not super premium, but it's not terrible. I definitely like the outer uh, shell. It has a button right here. I like the outer shell. I feel like the inner shell is a little too contrasty. Maybe there's a different color that I didn't see. So we're going to try to turn it on and see what happens. I mean, while we wait for the BlackBerry Classic. Um, so again, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. If you have any questions, make sure to uh, make sure to put them in the in the comments in the live chat. All right, making sounds now for the Doro. Um, so I'm gonna try the Verizon network for this device as I don't see it going further with something else. So here we have the Doro. Let's see what it comes up. Okay, so some setup. Nicely done. Doro is progressing a little bit more than your. All right, let's get this Verizon SIM card out. Probably that will work better since this is a Verizon phone. I'm trying to put it together. Let's see. Because this is technically still 4G LTE, so I would, I would hope that it still works, right? Okay. How do I put this again? Give me one second. I think, uh, I hope I didn't mess up this. Uh... Oh, I'm putting it on the wrong one. That's why it didn't fit. I was like, what's going on? Oh, putting it on the wrong device. I was putting the Light Phone 2 SIM tray on the on the BlackBerry Classic. Rookie mistake, rookie mistake. There you go. Now we got it. Perfect. Okay. So now that we have the SIM card, we're going to wait. We're going to see what the Doro has for us. Um, okay. So Doro has uh, H+. Perfect. It works here in the United States so far. So, Danks, Deutsch, Spanish, Francais, Hervatsky, I don't know what that is, Hervatsky, uh, mm, Italiano, Magyar, Netherlands, so Deutsch, Norsk Bokmal, Nordish maybe, Nor Nor Norwegian, Polski, Portugues, Romana, Slovenshika, or like Slovenshina, Suomi, Svenska, Chestina El Helenica, that's Greek, and Arabic. Wow, that's a lot of support. Very good. Doro coming through. Um, so um, we have some questions about this. Is that button on the back an emergency uh, phone? I, I believe so. It's probably customizable. So uh, start by learning how to use the special keys. Move around the navigation. Go back one step. Um, erase, nice, dedicated key, view notifications for this one, nice, access additional options, uh, yeah, standard setup. Actually, let's go back and see um, what customized setup look like. looks like. Uh, basic settings, okay, okay, that's just settings, probably standard setup. Uh, we can skip that. I know how to navigate usually these phones, so let's get around it. Um, let's see. We have some. It works so far. Okay. All right. So I finally was able to get some of this um, stuff on the. Uh, but still not working fully. Okay. So let's see. Call who? Oh, okay. I click something. Sorry. Call, view, view my messages, my contacts, my WhatsApp messages, gallery, alarms, organizer, emails. So that's have an email client. Send a message. It's pretty easy. 
that's really nice. It's, it's easy going. Um, okay. Let's see. Um, let's go to menu. We have uh, Facebook, WhatsApp, contacts, phone, messaging, camera, organizer, media, alarm, browser, email, response, which is you enable location. Please turn on location response by Doro. Okay, I don't know what that is. So I'm going to figure it out a little bit later. Let's see what. Welcome to Response by Doro. You can receive assistance from family and friends. Okay, so it's kind of like a, a emergency, send an alarm to somebody, you know, things of that nature that you can set up. Um, Ervatsky is Croatian. Makes sense. Uh, yeah, it does make sense, actually. Okay. Our Blackberry Classic. Nothing not able to set it up so far sadly i think it's because of blackberry services it's kind of sad but we're gonna figure it out what happens okay um let's see okay let's continue um so it does have a browser has a torch settings may reveal whether we can install extra applications sim toolkit system let's go to system and about phone and quickly build number uh, i don't think it's going to be possible okay i don't have anything right now zero one one zero one nine dev keys nope doesn't doesn't say anything um, maybe custom build version? No. Nope. Okay. So nothing so far as far as like getting extra, um, abilities to, you know, kind of like look around or get into a little bit more of the, um, <clears throat> how things work. Uh, if we're able to install other Android applications, but I'll be checking that and updating on the full review, of course. Okay. Come on, Blackberry classic. Don't let me down. I'm going to put it to charge, see if that works, works out, see what's going on. Um, cause it's recognizing the SIM card, but it's just not activating the network. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We're going to have to wait. Uh, current version, I guess we're in the current version. Um, let's see some basic functionality. It doesn't make calls here in the United States. Uh, let's call my tester number. Okay. No. Uh, wrong uh, i'm not a fan of the interface it's not amazing but you know all right let's see what happens nope yeah it's not allowed from this line to attempt calls apparently uh and that is due to the lack of um let me see if I can send text uh, because AT&T is blocking it being a 3G only device, even though it's 4G compatible. Uh, here is a demonstration of the keyboard. So it does have T9, though you have to select. It's not automatic. My, oh, there it is. If it's, it's automatic if you put the space. My name is Jose. There it is. Um, of course, you have your period. Yada, 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 all of that good stuff. Um, Verizon Wireless, still figuring it out right there. Okay. Um, the Classic is going for about, um, Classic is going for about 80 bucks on Amazon right now, I believe. So it's, it's not too expensive. Uh, I got it essentially as a, as an experiment, you know, to, to figure things out. Um, so it does have messaging. It does save your drafts. Um, delete all conversations. Okay. Perfect. So it does have some settings as well that you can take a look into like multimedia messages. So you can enable group messaging if that's something that you're interested in. 
a couple of other things. I haven't been able to test calls or texts, of course, due to uh, being on AT&T right now. I'll just switch it to a T-Mobile SIM card and then we'll continue testing in that way. But WhatsApp does work, apparently. Um, so I'm kind of excited for that. Oh, it does have a mouse. There you go. I was like, how are they going to make it work? Okay. So you can just, you know, put your... Oh, let's see what happens here. Because I have to download something. Um, okay. So data is probably not going to work. So I may need something else. But yeah, so the version of WhatsApp is not the latest one. Um... So I need to, to do that. Now, let's see if, let me connect this thing to Wi-Fi and let's see if we can just download an APK or something like that and it will be able to not only install the WhatsApp application, but also to do something else. Okay, add network, there it is. Okay. There you go. Now let's switch it to numbers and connect. Okay. Let's see. It's connecting to my Wi-Fi. Obtaining IP address. Perfect. Okay. Now that is connected. This should work. So WhatsApp probably will be able to work now. Or we'll be able to download an APK and see what happens from then. So download. Boom. Starting download does have a file manager, right? The organizer, file manager. Four gigs of, uh, of memory, not a lot. Um, but we have a WhatsApp APK. File format is not supported. Not very uh, surprised by that. So I wonder how you're supposed to... Maybe they will push it on an update or something like that. Let's see. Let's go to settings. Apparently my Wi-Fi wasn't call wasn't working. I mean my data wasn't working, so I probably didn't didn't do the software update as well. Um, so let's check for updates and see what comes up. Again, it has this charging dock. So oh well, um, I guess that is updating WhatsApp for some reason. Oh, it updated WhatsApp. Okay. That that was odd, but I guess now we can use WhatsApp. Um yeah, it definitely changed uh definitely changed the um so they pushed the update remotely to the app, apparently. Uh and of course, I mean it's gonna have some sort of like uh some sort of uh functionality, right? Um uh in embedded in so that's quite interesting um empa we'll get to it i'm about to unbox it actually the the nokia phone on the thumbnail so we'll get to that um let's continue my <clears throat> let's continue with that one actually or the cat b40 so my, our trusty blackberry classic is still not being nice to us um yeah it's being very, very picky. Even though it recognizes the SIM card, is not uh, activating it. And I, I, I do believe it's because of the servers. The activation servers from BlackBerry were shut down in 2022. So maybe this actually doesn't work in its entirety, which, which would be truly terrible. But at the same time, you know, it is what it is. Okay. Of course, like, I will try to figure it out. No, 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 no. I don't want to make an emergency call. I'm trying to figure it out right here. So, um, okay, we're going to do some research and see if we can figure it out in this next time. Um, okay, so we did some Doro unboxing for the last 10 minutes or so. Um, that's the first one. So I'll be testing this device, seeing how it works. As uh, so we saw, it does have uh, WhatsApp and it does have Facebook. So you can use those if that's what you're into or if they are uh, very important to you. So right there, you have a mouse to kind of navigate. It's not going to be the best experience. So I don't think anybody's going to be addicted to Facebook through this portal. 
Uh, you do have a browser and a couple things, and we'll be finding out if I can actually update other things in here. Uh, it does recognize the SIM card from here in the United States for the for um, AT and T, but uh, it doesn't work. So it doesn't work for calls or text uh, for AT and T. So we're gonna test if it works with Google Fi or uh, T-Mobile, which is the network that Google Fi uses, which usually is more forgiving than uh, AT&T since AT&T now has shut down a lot of a lot of things. Okay, we're gonna take that out. We're gonna put the Google Fi SIM card, turn it on, and then continue unboxing some of these devices. So hopefully you're in entertained. Hopefully we're learning a little bit, a couple of things. So I'll be doing reviews on all of these in the next couple of days. So now I don't, we get to uh, Nokia 5310, also a device that only works most likely in the UK or Europe or, you know, places where they still have 2G. This one doesn't even have 3G. So this one's a 2G only device, um, but it's a very nice design. And I'm actually excited to see if it can play um, if it can play a couple of extra things like Java, uh, games and apps and things of that nature. First of all, just taking it off is such a joy. Um, I can feel the quality like of the device, you know, like from getting it, it's well designed, nice and compact in the hand. As you see right there, such a beauty with the buttons for skip and play and things of that nature. So I'm kind of excited about that. Um, let's see, what else does the box bring? We're gonna be taking out, these are plastic, of course. Uh, again, huge props to Doro for making uh, making something sustainable, right? That's, that's always good when companies are sustainable with paper and paper wrapping instead of, uh, uh, maybe about 15 minutes, it was the Doro unboxing, so. And then uh, we're going to go to a Nokia unboxing, Nokia at 30 minutes, 32 minutes, Nokia unboxing. We're going to save that a little bit of a fail on the Blackberry end. Um, LED, we just went over uh, the Doro 7030. So literally we just went over, uh, it, it just arrived today. So I decided to make a little quick live stream with you guys to see where it goes. Okay, so that's it, the battery, really nice and compact. Um, again, I, I really, really like the design of this device. Um, we need bigger SIM cards. As you see right there is dual SIM, but you need bigger SIM cards. Let me see if I can get my adapters from here. Doro, okay, we're gonna turn it on. Um, okay, let's see. Blackberry Classic is still in uh, trying to connect, so we'll get we'll get we'll get around it. Uh, let me take this plastic off. That's the sound of the Doro. We're just gonna try to play, uh, see if we can. Oh, you know what? If you look at the logo, uh, let me see. If you look at the logo right here, it looks like a Pokeball, like right here. It's kind of fun. Um, a little bit different, you know, in there. Uh, but I like it. The device feels nice in the hand. Uh, this is rubbery, so it's not super high quality, but it's pretty good. Um, we don't have any signal with Google Fi so far. Yes, with AT&T, so the bands may just be a little bit off or different. 5% uh, remaining for battery. Yeah, I don't think we're, we're going to get to test it much. I'm going to have to charge it, and then we'll get to it. Uh, let me see. It's USB-C. Perfect. I have one like right here. So uh, it doesn't work for the Google Fi. So it's uh, probably the band compatibility. Oh, no, 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 it's micro USB, it's micro USB. Okay, well, I don't like micro USB. Um, well, we'll charge it and then get around it. I'll, I'll get in the review if you have any specific questions about the Doro. Let me know, I'll be testing whether I can unlock it. That's probably turning off. Okay. I want to put this SIM card, the Google Fi SIM card on the on the Nokia device so I can test it right away if it works. Usually T-Mobile is 
more forgiving about their uh, usage of international devices. So that's why I want to test it out from the get-go. It does have a micro SD uh, uh, here at the top as well. So that's really nice. Really nice. Okay. Okay, let's go slowly. Oh, is it micro US? Oh, it's the other way around. Give me a second. So one of those big SIM cards and with the adapters, I just need to make sure that it doesn't damage the contact points and the SIM card doesn't come out. Um, okay, let's see. Um, any other questions that you guys have? Just let me know. Um, there is a new Titan Slim that I'm excited about. It's not definitely a, not a dumb phone, but it's, it's nice to see more devices that are um, aimed at the kind of like curity market. I'm always excited about those. <sighs> Sorry guys, this is a little finicky since we don't have big SIM cards anymore available in the United States. I wish they made like a better adapters, these plasticky ones, like they get on my nerves sometimes. Okay, let's go, come on. I'm also trying not to damage the contact points, so we don't have bigger issues later on. Okay, come on, get in there. Oh, there it is, see, that's what happens. Oh, uh, now I have to be really careful to not damage the contact points. <sighs> Barely got it out, guys, Ooh, without damaging it. Sorry. All right. Okay, let me try this without the big adapter. Let's see if I can just get it right in with the micro. I think I should I should be able to. There it is. I think that should work. Okay, let's try it. Nokia 65310 Music Express. Okay, let's see. All right. Ooh, it's a little hot today. I think uh, the light too is not helping to it. Okay, there it is. That's the that's the one I like. Okay, there you go. Nokia 5310. Let's do some size comparison. This is the Light Phone 2 next to it, so definitely smaller. And this is the Mudita Pure. So Mudita Pure against it, definitely larger right there. Uh, about same screen size though, as you see. A little bit smaller on the Nokia, but about the same screen size on both of those devices right there. Um, okay, let's see. So we have um, automatic, Nokia, Okay, cannot wait until I get rid of that sound. Okay, agree by using this, yada, yada, yada. Okay, menu. Let's go to settings and take that tone away. Yeah, thank you. Oh, no, you got to confirm it. Choose, there you go. Sorry for that. <laughs> I know it's a lot. Okay, so we have um, pretty much a lot of the same basic things that we've had before uh, with the dual SIM and everything working out. As you see, there is a SIM card in there, but it's not recognizing it. So I doubt we were gonna get any service. Again, this only works on 2G. So if we couldn't even get the Doro to work, which works on LTE, it's definitely more difficult to get it to work on something else. Um, we have a couple of games that they have enabled here doodle jump also we have assassin's creed and asphalt 6 so a lot of different things a lot of apps 
um, I'm gonna figure that this is not based. Does that say mobile store? This may be based on Java. Oh my goodness, this is huge actually. Because this, if this is based on Java, then we can push a lot of different, you know, apps. Let's see, ringtones, wallpapers. Yeah, let's see, more apps. Insufficient memory. The feature requires at least two megabytes of free storage. So that means that this still um, has very little storage even though, but I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna to try to see if I can put it on an SD card. It does seem a little different than the other um, Nokia devices that I have reviewed. So I'm kind of excited about that because um, again, it has the ability um, to do, you know, a lot of the kind of like, um, what do you call it? It has a, like the ability to do um, Java games, number one, and most likely it also has the ability to do some Java applications like Google Maps is on Java. Um, so if we can load those in, that will be actually very exciting. Um, let me take a little bit. Uh, I'm going to take it off now turn it off it does have bluetooth but no hotspot so you know take your pick right so it does have bluetooth no hotspot um on and off yep i like this uh it does seem a little different than the regular nokias that i have been reviewing which have a thread x just skin to look like this but i think this is actually java so we're gonna take this sim card out yeah, the contact points are fine. I'm gonna gotta put it on the SIM card tray number two. See if that one works. Lori Code Green, thank you for um, subscribing, and also Raman Kishore, thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Um, so let's figure this out here. I think that should be good enough. Yep, I think so. That should get all the contact points right there. Yep. Okay. So it did recognize the SIM card in the other the other one, so probably not. Um, so that is the Nokia 63. Um, it does use a beautiful sound right there. It does have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack up here, so that's great. And also uh, USB, micro USB also up here. So if you can maybe appreciate it, I don't know. It's probably a little blurry since I don't have the auto. So it does recognize the SIM card, but it does not allow us to make any calls or, or anything. Again, this is a 2G device, so it's a little bit more difficult. Let me see if I can place a call just so. The buttons are really nice. That is one of the things that I have always loved, right? Uh, let me put this down a little bit more. Um, let's see. Okay. No, not making a call. So it's not recognizing it, sadly. Um, it's kind of, yeah, yeah, it, it just drops the call. It doesn't, it doesn't have it all. Let me see if I can take off that initial Nokia tone. Uh, warnings, I don't think so, but you never know. Yeah. Um, this is, it seems to be based of some version of Java. So maybe, maybe that works. So, um, not sure, not sure as to, as to how it, how it will work, but so far, uh, we don't have it working, uh, but I'll be testing, you know, more and more and seeing it, seeing if it actually can work with, with something. All right. That was the second one of today. Second unboxing of today. Uh, if you have any questions about that device specific, please just let me know and we'll go back to it. And now we're going to start at 44. 44. We're going to start the Cat B40, which is, again, another very promising device. Cat B40 unboxing. Yeah, I'm excited about this one, too. Um, let me see. Uh, I'm going to try to do a quick Google search to BlackBerry Classic Activation 
Let's see how to set up a BlackBerry Classic. Activate. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Do not wipe or auto load a BB10 device after January 4. Okay, so apparently maybe this was wiped. Um, maybe it's not going to work. So we kind of have some unfortunate reality here, right? The unfortunate reality. As we've seen collecting information, if you wipe a BB10 device post shutdown, you will not be able to sideload. Doesn't matter what the device, it's the same for all. A wipe will remove the BBID and does no link backup. With no obvious reason, a subset of wiping post shutdown can get past the Wi-Fi phase. With no a subset of those wiping post shutdown can't get past the Wi-Fi phase of the initial setup. If a solution is found, this will be updated. Yes, so this is the issue that we're having. Um, but we have a fix. Okay, I'll get to it. <laughs> we're going to try to troubleshoot this device here. As always, uh, it's always how, how you find things on the internet, right? Okay, perfect. So we have a CAD B40. Uh, I'll get to a question just right before that. So Joshiki asks, uh, what is the best Android iOS DAP MP3 player? Um, so I personally think that the iPod is fine. Uh, personally, uh, I think it's fine. I don't think it's amazing, but I think it's a good device. It's good enough. Uh, this is the CAD B40, by the way. Um, I have an iPod I play music from, but I am actually, I'm always testing and always trying to like find different things. And I think the Sony NWA105 is also a great DAP. And I'm actually getting one of those very soon. And both of those are less than $200. So my recommendations will be going to, 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 to those. So here we have the Cat B40. Um, as you see, is a rugged device, not your sleek um needs or you know whatever it is that you that you want uh, it's not the, this nokia it's definitely larger and rugged and of course it has all of the functionalities it does have usb-c i just saw the charger which is actually really nice so right here has a flap boom right there usb-c and 3.5 millimeter headphone jack very much appreciated from cat very good company, creators of the Cat B20 S22, not B22, S22. And does have a torch right here. Um, and yeah, seems to be a pretty solid device. The keys are a little rubbery, but they're not this cheap rubber material. Like, oh, maybe I can show you how, like, there's a difference between this rubbery material and this rubbery material. Like, it's definitely something to, to think about. Um, I don't know if this doesn't have battery. It does have a battery because, um, yeah. Uh, Joshiki, I found, uh, maybe you should look into a couple of the Amazon, uh, offerings. Uh, I found, I was able to find a lot of, uh, a one Oh fives for less than 200. So used one go used and probably you'll get it for a little bit less. Uh, Santiago got the Plum Ram 9. Very pleased with it. Glad to glad to hear that. We're going to charge this Cat B40. Um, again, making a review on this as well. Um, so, yep, it is charging. So it's probably dead. I mean, it's coming from the UK, so it's kind of hard. Uh, we're going to do charging. Yeah, it's completely depleted. So we'll, we'll get to that. Um... Okay, there you go. We have some uh, some things to do. In the meantime, I have a lot of stuff in here. Um, so we have a couple of questions. Let me, let me get to those questions uh, in just a second. Uh, so we have uh, thoughts on Mocha Radio on KaiOS. No idea. Never heard of it. Uh, Raze, but I have a KaiOS device right here. This is Nokia 2760. Exciting device. Finally, KaiOS fixed uh, group text messaging with this version uh, 3.1. Um, you know. So, yeah, kind of like take a look into it. Uh, let's see. You said Mocha Radio, right? Mocha Radio. M. Oh, yeah, there you go. Mo Mocha. 
Okay, let's search for that. Let's see if it comes up. No results found. So, um, uh, yeah, so probably let's go with radio. Let's see. It's not available probably in Kios 3.1. For them, for maybe, maybe it is, maybe it's not. So we have radio waves. That's the only thing we have. So no mocha radio on 3.1 uh, Raze. So I'll check it out and probably my other two point something devices. But I haven't checked out the app. I don't know how it works. Um, this is KaiOS, of course. Like, you know, I've reviewed it in the past. But if you have any questions about it, I also had it charged because I wanted to go over a couple things. Okay, let's get to fixing the... Um, BlackBerry Classic. So apparently a subset of devices that have been wiped uh, do not have the ability to continue, but as always people find fixes. I love people that are dedicated to their communities. And in this community, CrackBerry, they're very dedicated to, uh, I think it's this one, fix. Yes, this is the one. So here we have fixed BB devices stuck at setup slash side loading issues. So we're going to go through a couple of the troubleshooting. I also wanted to showcase um, these headphones. I'll showcase them to you right now. Let me take this off. So these are um, EMF radiation free earbuds, um, Defender Shield. They're a little bit expensive. And the reason why I'm trying to test it is because I've been learning a little bit more about EMFs and how they work uh, essentially. You know, all the devices emit certain electromagnetic pulses and stuff like that. And apparently, you know, of course, that's not necessarily the healthiest thing for you. Uh, but these ones are not your regular um, headphones right here, but rather they're a little bit different because they have, you know, these uh, uh, these tubes. So these are tubes, air tubes, instead of having the wire all the way to your ear canal um so we'll be testing those in just a second as well i have a ton of boxes here i'm gonna have to be cleaning up after this stream um so i'll let you know what i think about that i mean i'm, I'm still doing research on emfs and things like that of course electronic things are not terrible but they're also you know you're introducing a lot of foreign things into your life so you're trying to be as mindful as possible okay let's continue with this what we're going to try to fix the um this, uh, okay, so give me one second. All right, if you're able to skip through setup, wait for the complete setup notification to appear, tap on it, then tap open at the bottom of the screen, tap next to get to the connect to a mobile network screen and proceed to step two below. So, um, okay, but if I'm not, what do I do? Blackberry stuck on Wi-Fi setup, okay. Well, we have a video to watch. I'm gonna take it off for copyright. Uh, first start the initial setup when you reach the Wi-Fi connection page connect to a network okay yes after this go through the steps on the video okay give me a second there we go. right here let's see what happens wait for data connection on the connect okay on the connect on the connect to a mobile network page, press the power button three times in quick succession. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Tur screen reader will show up. Yes. Double tap the screen with two fingers to activate it. Okay, so the screen reader is on. Tap the skip button once and then twice. Okay. Okay, that didn't do anything. Okay. On the Wi-Fi connection page, don't do anything and wait patiently until the reader starts telling about BBID. Okay. and services such as BBM, BlackBerry Blend, BlackBerry World, After. and the anti-theft feature in BlackBerry Protect. Designed to prevent anyone from setting up your device without knowing your black... Oh no, I touched something. I wasn't supposed to. After reader says skip, double tap the screen right away under the title 
text connect to Wi-Fi. Okay. Okay, we're gonna have to go back. Okay. Okay. Okay, so she didn't go back and said something about Oh, there it is, Blackberry ID. Okay, so you have to wait until all of this happens. Okay, so that's the second option. Okay, skip. Okay, previous. Yes, skip. Okay, so now we have, let me show you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is very time sensitive, by the way. <laughs> so uh, let me put the camera. So now we have skip. So after you get all of that, skip the BlackBerry ID. So that's what's getting it on. Okay. So after that, after we skip, Okay, so now we're in a different screen. Um, let me show you. So now we're in BlackBerry ID. So that's what's probably not wanting it. So after after it does that, then we get to uh, switch off the screen reader, uh, pressing the power button three times quickly. Okay, so now we can... Okay, so now the screen reader is off. And what we have to do, this is just kind of like a tutorial for everybody that needs to set up their BlackBerry. Uh, we started about what, five minutes ago? So at 55, um, let me just put that on the video details. So uh, 55, BlackBerry fix for setup. So again, everyone, so this is just for, if you ever get a BlackBerry again, this will work. Okay, so now we have to switch the power uh, screen reader off, tap the skip button. It's got to customize to my region. Uh, okay, and then after that, the following steps may need to be repeated until you manage to reach the software update page. So it says, okay, time sensitive again. Let me pause. Hopefully you're, you're seeing it too. Okay, perfect, you're seeing it, okay. Okay, let me figure it out. Okay, so it says press the settings button. And then tap on my Wi-Fi and add the password and connect. Settings, Death Star, okay, next. Okay, so this is just uh, gonna take a while. Okay, so after it does that, it says customizing acquiring IP address. Click the next button and regional updates should show up. Yes. If not, or if it shows up, then you are directed back to the enable to connect page. Repeat the last three steps until it does show up. The next uh, button appears on it. After a while, it will. Okay, so it is hopefully downloading some data. I'm trying to see here. Customizing, okay. 
Finally, the next button shows up. Click it immediately to go to the software update page. On the software update page, you, you will need to wait a lot. When this text appears, swipe left. Do not press the setup Wi-Fi button. Okay. Swipe left. Okay. Swipe left to skip. Okay, I see. Okay, everyone. So let me show you how that looks. So this video is going to be very useful for a lot of people. I'm going to put it on the chat as you guys are watching this because I believe it's extremely helpful. So I'm going to put it on the chat. Um, so I'm excited about that. I'm excited about uh, troubleshooting this and seeing if it still works. Um, so there you go. You guys have it right there on the chat and hopefully, you know, it, it works out. Um, okay. So we're going to wait for the software update to go through and then we have to swipe left. Uh, I need to charge this in the meantime so it doesn't die. So I'm just going to leave it charging there and I'll let you know once it's done. Let's continue with the cat B40 on unboxing. Um, Okay, uh, Mac, uh, Mac Stiffy Loving. <laughs> um, can you please help us get some documentation for this CMOS battery? Um, help me out understand what that means. I don't, uh, you know, I, I'm into privacy and to different things, but I'm not that, de that deep yet. So if you can just help us out here with, with what CMOS um battery means so yeah i'll appreciate that i think that's that's uh, something to to definitely you know kind of like look into um okay so we have the cat b40 we're going coming back at 101 um we're coming back at 101 let's see uh let me put 101 right here one zero one zero zero cat b40 continued Okay, perfect. So now that we continue with the Cat B40, uh, here's the device. Uh, the, the battery is already there. Uh, this runs also the uh, same software as before, the um, uh, uh, ThreadX. So ThreadX is the um, is what works. So here we have waterproof information. Please close the phone covers in order to be dust and waterproof resistant, of course. So okay. We have English, a lot of different languages. Very good. Wow, even more than the Doro, for sure. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Santiago, the battery for the BIOS firmware. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's good to know. Um, I'm not sure if if any phone that I have reviewed has that kind of like compatibility. So I'll, I'll be researching a little bit more. Um, but for now, uh, I don't have any extra information. So... Sorry, Mac, um, but I'll, I'll be getting it. Uh, so we have main menu. Um, we have settings. Let's get to profiles. Silent so that we don't hear that sound. This is ThreadX, so it's very, very custom, very, you know, kind of like used to what you got, what the options that you have. New chat, very simple. It doesn't have, it doesn't appear to have any group text messages. So that is that. Not not bad. It's just not a, not available. Maybe MMS, receive options, load. Okay. Well, maybe I'll be testing. See if it works. Send options. Um, very rugged. Very nice. I like uh, the the response. It's it's very good. Uh, apps, very similar to all of the other ones that we have reviewed in the past. Settings, no Wi-Fi, so just Bluetooth, of course, right there. Uh, FM radio. Does it work without the need of a, um, it works without the need of, um, of a antenna. So that's really nice. Uh, right. Okay. Give me one second. Give me one second. Uh, 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have the classic. So we'll go after that to do some of the some of the things and what works, what doesn't, all of that good stuff. Okay, um, let's continue with the Cat B40. Oh, that's the FM radio without the need of a, um, a connecting 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So if you're stuck somewhere, you can at least listen to the radio. Um, games has a couple football cup there you go um yeah so super pet twist doodle jump things of that nature uh contacts uh let's see call logs very nice very good very useful nothing super fancy but nothing bad either i don't think it has a browser at least i don't see any maybe in apps no, no browser. So if you're trying to avoid a browser, good phone for that. Uh, and yeah, good. I, I, I mean, I like it. I like that it has this disabilities. Um, I'm trying to go through the trial right here. The different. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Give me a second. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have the uh, classic working. So I'm really excited about that in just a second. We're going to get to it. Um, and it does have dual SIM, apparently. Although I don't know where it will go. Maybe in this flap right here. So this right here is where you will put the SIM card, I guess. Ooh, it's a little hard. It's really hard. So maybe it's not there. But I don't see anywhere else. Mm. Yeah, I'm trying to get this out, but I don't. I don't think this is it, but I may be wrong. Maybe there's a specific way. Let's look at the manual. <laughs> As always, uh, manuals can help with some of these things. Well, it does have a SIM ejector, so definitely that's not it. So that flap right there is probably for something else. Um, so it has a SIM ejector tool, but I don't know where the SIM ejects. Here it's connecting the USB. Okay, let me just look at the manual because I'm like... I don't see any holes to introduce the SIM ejector tool. So manual it is. Let's see. Um, okay. Rugged phone, quick start guide, English. Well, I can read it in something else. Oh, no, it does appear that it is there. But I may need something to get it off. Insert some cards. Okay, this is already in a different language. Okay, so get started. Insert some cards. Um, okay, so apparently there is a way to. to so th this flap right here is where the SIM card is. I'm going to try to get it out with this because clearly it's very, very difficult. Oof, that's a lot. Um, okay, so as you see. It's right here, so you will insert it right here. Um, see, perfect. Okay, it's a little finicky. You may need the tool. You're not going to be able to just get it with your finger, so just FYI, don't lose the tool. So it does appear to have two um, SIM card slots and also a SIM card for the... Um, a SIM card for... Uh, I'm sorry, SD card. That's what I meant, an SD card. So that's nice. Um, okay, let's go over Google Fi and also the AT&T MVNO that I have. See if that works. And of course, I do testing with all of the other networks, but I just have to. These are the ones that I keep on tabs just because it's easier. Um, of course, none of these work with Verizon, so don't get your hopes up. That's just part of the reality. Um, where did I put the Nokia here? Nokia, give me my SIM card back since it didn't work. 
Um, I think the Nokia would be probably the one that I'm like most excited about because of the ability of playing Java games. Um, but you know, you never know. Um, okay. So Mac is uh, giving us a little, a little bit of background on how it works and maybe, uh, it also helps us understand a little bit more about how all these things work. Um, in the privacy community, of course, there's a lot of things to be taking taking into account according to your threat model. So there you go. We're learning a little bit more today. Okay. That's that. And then here's the other one. Okay, so this one's a little bit more um, picky, huh? Okay, so SIM 1 and SIM 2. Got it going on. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to put them in. There it is. Okay, we got it. Let's see what the cat says. We're starting the phone because the SIM card inserted. Okay. Um, I use different ones. Uh, Serial Unicorn is asking which MVNO I use. Uh, Google Fi, Track Phone, uh, Light. So that's another one I use. Um, just different ones, yeah. Uh, so SIM card two is working. SIM card two was uh, Google Fi, I believe. Um, well, still searching for networks, so we'll see what happens um, with it. Um, I also try to use other kind of like devices, and you know we go over it. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm trying to read a little bit more. The power maintaining those you know, was lost. This is not the case with those flip phones, but the battery can also be used to ping info from apps. Okay, interesting. Thank you for the background, and uh, you know we'll be checking it out. Um, okay, we have three G on one. Um, I believe that's the AT and T one. That's the only one that has the bands to work. Um, and this technically has VO LTE, so it may, it may work or not. Oh yes, we have signal in the second one. Let's go. Let's go. AT&T on the first one, as you see right here, barely able to read it. Let me see if I can change that to a more legible background display, wallpaper settings, more pictures. No, nope, no pictures. Okay. Static wallpaper, wallpaper two. Oh, well, there's a. <laughs> there's a yellow one and a is that is that better no it's not better probably <laughs> i cannot read it okay so we got signal on both so the cat b40 is full vo lte um so that is um essentially a good thing because you will be able to use a little bit of a little bit probably of one or the other um i'm going to change the sim card probably there has to be some setting here in order to Let's try to make a call. Uh, okay, yep. Okay, so let's try to make a call with SIM1. Probably will say no, not available. Yeah, it's not available. It's not allowed from this line. So um, sadly, it doesn't work from the line of the... Oh, man, this is really hard. From the line of the um, the AT and T line, so I'm just gonna switch the Google Fi line, but it's, it recognizes it, so that that's progress in my in my opinion. So um, we're gonna take this out so that uh, let's see Google Sim one, where is it? Sim one, right here. Um, so Azure is Dragoon has a question, which is a very valid question. Oh, um, you're saying that Google Fi deactivates non-compatible phones using their SIMs. Do you think that's a problem using a dumb phone? Actually, I've been able to use Google Fi with 
all the DOM phones this past weekend. So um, I just got Google Fi last week because we were testing a new system that they have where they allow you to web text even if you don't have a smartphone. Um, so I don't think it's an issue. I mean, of course, compatibility will not be the same, but they are not deactivating it as far as I know. And I'm, I've been able to use the different things. Okay. Oh, the SIM card went in. Oh, man. This is the problem with these uh, very finicky SIM trays that they, they're giving. Uh, but solid phone. The Cat B40 is a very solid, and it's, it may work here in the United States. So that, that would be a very big pro. Okay, let's see. There you go. Okay. It's got to restart. Yep, it is restarting. Okay. Uh, what else? Um, oh, yes. The phone of the hour. I'm really excited about this. Uh, super excited, actually. Very stoked um, because it works. Uh, I mean, I don't really care about the apps or anything else. I just kind of wanted to retest that uh, beautiful QWERTY keyboard once again. You know, it's, it's just a joy to use. Um, so that's always nice. But yeah, I'm really excited to kind of test what we can still do though, even on this phone. So uh, as you know, it has the Amazon App Store. So maybe that still works, who knows? Um, I still have signal, so uh, let me disconnect the Wi-Fi to see if I can make a phone call uh, or use data, you know, not necessarily just make a phone call, but use data. Um, let's see, where are you? Settings, 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 settings. Settings found it. Okay, um, so go to that. Go to that. Um, go to that video if you're trying to set up a BlackBerry 10 device that has been wiped. Uh, that's exciting. Yeah, and as you see, you get VoLTE or at least 4G LTE. I don't know if you get VoLTE yet, so we, we gotta test if it works. So let's call. Let's make a phone call. Uh, okay, no, that's not what I want. That's not what I want. I want just the regular phone. They hide this. <laughs> the phone is like in the last page. Uh, okay. Let's make a call. If it rings, it works. There was an error in processing my call. Okay, so it doesn't work for that one. Uh, let's call a business. Maybe it is an error because it's trying to, I have my Google Voice uh, set up to redirect to me automatically. Uh, let me call this right here. Okay, let's see. Um, just got to try to find a business to call. Ah, there it is. 844. Okay, let's see. Welcome to, welcome to Verizon Wireless. There was an error in trying to place your call. So no, no Verizon Wireless so far um, for the classic. Unfortunate, very unfortunate, honestly. Um, let me make one more call. Maybe, maybe let me make a call to my wife. She's just out here, so. If it works, it works. No, it gives me a, a tone. Not working. Um, well, maybe calls are not working, but what about messages? So let's send a text message to one of my tester numbers. Okay, out. Let's say hello and let's see what happens. Okay, so maybe Verizon still, I mean, this is a Verizon phone, so maybe it doesn't work. Maybe it works with something else, right? Like, you know, kind of have to figure it out what's going to, what's going to work for what. Um, and I know one of you asked me um, the Titan Pocket, so I'll uh, make sure to, make sure to figure it out. Um, It's definitely sleeker than the Titan Pocket. 
Uh, right. It's not sending the text message, so I don't think it's it's going to do it. Yeah. So it does have some sort of data, but it seems like it's not really, really working um, for the LTE. Yeah, site blocked for security, no response. Um, it's not happening. Okay, well, we're gonna take that SIM card out and see if it works with Google Fi or with AT&T, see what, what gives us. And in the meantime, also we're testing. Oh, got out of battery. Okay, we're gonna put it to charge. Okay, come here and see if the Cat B40 works with Google Fi. So let's test first this AT&T and VNO. See if it works with uh, the classic. I mean, it it shouldn't, but I've seen devices work, you know. So we're still trying to. I'm I'm still trying to figure out which devices work, which devices don't work. What I really like about this device, the classic, is just like the metal frame. It's just so nice, you know. Um, so I personally enjoy enjoy that. But you know, uh, here's the the um, pocket, the Titan pocket. Um, no, I will do this later. As you see, it has 3G in there. I mean, this is way slimmer, uh, not as chunky. The keys on the BlackBerry are definitely more premium. They have a, a kind of like a better feel. Um, but of course, you know, one of them works. One of them, it's not working. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Um, I saw a lot of symbols going around back and forth. I don't know if that meant... Uh, Maybe I touched something. Oh, mobile network, I deactivated it. Um, let's see if it comes back up. It's registering most likely. Emergency calls only. AT&T, so it's recognizing that it is an AT&T uh, device right there. So, I mean, data services, APNs, right, maybe. Mobile hotspot, internet tethering. And this definitely used to be. Okay, we got LTE on AT&T. Let's see if we can make a call. I always mess up. Okay, let's go to phone. Let me move the phone all the way to the first page because that's very important. Let's move it and let's call this number right here. Okay, it's giving a pause. I don't think it's connecting, but it does have the ability, or at least it seems to. Okay, we'll figure it out. For ah, there it is. The call you are attempting to play is It's not allowed. Not allowed. So no AT&T for the BlackBerry Classic. Very sad. Let me try to send a text message, see if it works. Or resend it. How do I resend it? Forward message, resend message. Okay. This time around, uh, I mean, sometimes text work and calls do not. So, you know, that's something to weigh in uh, in your preferences, right? Um, but sadly, it's it's kind of sad that that it's not working. <laughs> I really wish that it did, but it's it's having a little bit of complications here. I'm glad to have another BlackBerry in my list of devices. And I hope, hopefully I'll be able to find a carrier that supports it. Text doesn't seem to be sending either. So it probably has to do with just the towers, AT&T towers blocking it, even though it's on kind of like an LTE compatible device, but that's the life, right? Okay. Last one will be Google Fi. Maybe that one will work. Um, I'm seeing if it works on SIM card one for the Google Fi here. And if it doesn't, then you know we can just we can just continue on our going our way. So we'll leave it here. Um anything, any questions that you guys have, I'll be um we'll be here maybe for another 20 minutes max. Um have other things to do today, but just wanted to showcase some of those devices to you. Um get those questions in, you know, figure it out what you guys uh, are excited about. This BlackBerry Classic right here 
it's uh, kind of like a relic now, I guess. Uh, okay, so we got some connection for T-Mobile for Google Fi, but apparently, well, let's see if it, nope, emergency calls only. So it does recognize the SIM card, but it's getting blocked. Maybe Google Fi is blocking my, my SIM. Uh, for this specific device maybe for other devices it hasn't but for this one specific it's it's blocking it so we'll we'll see what happens in that case we'll see how it works and there you go i'll be testing the cat b40 a little bit further in the future uh, for you guys and for of course international oh, retro it's the blackberry classic blackberry classic is the one that i showcase and the other one's the titan pocket um, so I'll be showcasing a couple of other things in the future as well. Um, you know, so, um, yeah, I'll be, uh, talking more in depth in the review. Just wanted to do this live stream to just talk a little bit about it. See if you guys have any extra questions as we've been, it's a, it's a little slow right now. Uh, Hugh King, thanks for the sub. Appreciate it. Um, it's a little bit slow on the dumb phone territory as we have not seen uh, new devices being announced except the Nokia 2760, uh, which is actually to me a very promising device. Um, it says Google Fi, but also emergency calls only. So I guess Google Fi finally got around my scheme and they're blocking my SIM card now. So no luck for no luck for me this time around. Um, let me see. Yeah. Okay, I'll be playing around with these devices, getting my thoughts together, and then I'll be uh, showcasing a review to you guys very soon. I'm kind of excited to see what works, what doesn't work, and what uh, we can do with all of this relics of the past i'm kind of excited to see how all of this works honestly um after years of not having a blackberry you know kind of finally getting one back and using it it's going to be quite fun um daniel s is there a way to uh, sideload apps on the new f4l um there is a guide there is a guide on reddit if i remember correctly reddit Okay, let me see. So, Heraclius Magnus is a user on Reddit. People. Okay, let's see if he's here. Go. Heraclius people. Come on. Does it even exist? Uh, okay, that'll be too too broad. Okay, let's see if I can find his on the dumb phone subreddit. Rockley. Comments. Uh, I'm trying to see. Well. I'm not able to find it right now, but there's a thread uh, from this guy. All right, let's see if Google can help us. User Heraclius Magnus. Yeah, I spelled it right. I don't know what happened. Okay, so let's see. He has a guide. Let me showcase to you on the Reddit. So he has a guide in his page. If you go here, this is his username, Heraclius Magnus. He's a user from the uh, from Australia. So there is a post that he has, um, maybe on top. Maybe that's gonna show. And uh, ta -ta -ta. site loadable Google. 
Aspera F32. There it is. So this Aspera F32 is very similar to the new F4L, if I believe I believe correctly. Um, okay. And then there is a code that you need to get into. This is the code, I believe. Uh, pound, no, a star pound, 777 pound. And from there, you can delete apps using ADB. So you can get to developer mode in that way. So maybe you'll be able to do it. Uh, this Aspera is very similar to the is very similar to the new F4L. So try that code and see if you can get into it. Um, yeah. So here it is. Uh, oh, but we have some some update. It says uh, according to whatever uh, this code does not work for the foot. Perhaps okay. So try. Uh, 666, 777, whichever way maybe you can get to, to that. So the Aspera and the new FRL are essentially the same device. And hopefully you can you can make it work. Um, um, so there's different ones. Uh, oh, here it is. Um, uh, here it is. The uh, 666 didn't work. 77 work. So maybe you should do that and and see report if that works uh, for for different people so uh, that's the that's the best i can do for you daniel today um but thanks for watching everyone really appreciate it having you today i'll be continuing testing some of these devices the nokia's the you know just all of the different devices uh, there's a good class of 2022 uh coming up uh, for the um, there's a good class of 2022 coming up uh, for the best dumb phones, right? Like, you know, of uh, the best dumb phones of 2022. I'm really excited. Um, there's some that's still making the list and there's uh, newcomers. So I'm really excited about that. The newcomers are quite interesting and we'll see. We'll see how they work. Um, um, Serial Unicorn, last question. Is KaiOS the only feature phone OS that has the predictive text? No. Um, pretty much everything else has predictive text. Like the Nokia's have predictive text. Cat probably has predictive text. Um, uh, if you go to the Dumbphone Finder, you will be able to see it. So I'll close with that. Um, so you know how to find it. So if you go to the dumbphonefinder.com. Oh, oh, dumb phone, not dumb phones. Dumbphonefinder.com. Uh, you'll get to my app that I created. Um, and you can go to, you can go to, 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 to keyboard and you can get T9, which is my way of saying predictive. And then it will filter what has predictive text and what doesn't. So here is a list of all of the phones that have predictive text. And as you see, there's a lot of results. So it's not just the Nokia KaiOS devices. There's a lot of other KaiOS devices. Uh, and non KaiOS that also have it. There's even some that may have touch nt9 or voice to text so make sure to check it there uh in the uh make sure to check it there in the dumbphone finder so um so i am excited to review these devices i'm excited to see what happens and uh thank you for being with us today thank you for uh listening and if you have any questions so it's always just put it in the comments in any of my videos and i'll be i'll be getting to it so have a great day